Hello Mountain Sage community and happy spring. I hope that you are taking full advantage of the beautiful weather and celebrating everything that there is to celebrate about this gorgeous time of year. I'm excited today to help you come up with some ideas for celebrating May Day or Mayfair, which is one of my favorite school festivals. Well, I'm going to be very sad not to see all of your beautiful faces and get to celebrate with the music and the dancing and everything that we usually do at school. I am also excited to see the ways that you choose to celebrate this time of year at home with your families. One of the really special traditions that has happened around this time of year in Europe and in America for hundreds of years is something um, of making baskets that then you fill with special flowers or homemade goodies or beautiful messages of hope or poems that you write and then taking them and leaving them on the doorstep or the door handle of neighbors and friends and family members that then come out to find a wonderful spring surprise to brighten their day. This seems like an especially good time to engage in that tradition, as all of us could use a little bit of extra brightening of our days and some um, reminders that other people are out there who care and who are wishing us well. So there are many ways to do these um, May baskets. You can do something as simple as just taking a piece of paper and wrapping it into a cone shape gluing it, decorating it, and putting a handle on it. And then that's something that you could fill with flowers or special treats. You could take an empty food can like this one and decorate it with um, sweet messages and pictures that you cut out, make a little handle, and you have a basket that way. Or if you want to get a little bit fancier and do a fun project, you can also do some paper weaving and make your own little woven baskets like I've been learning how to do. So this is a really easy project. All you need is a couple of pieces of construction paper in different colors, and you're going to want to cut them out into strips the same size. So for me, one of the easiest ways that I decided to do that was by folding my paper in half four times so that all of my strips would be the same width, and I could cut them along the fold lines and have some really easy strips this way. You could also use your measuring skills, and if you wanna make some of different sizes, you could use rulers and measure out and draw lines so that you can cut, um, have whatever size strips that you want. You're going to want at least four strips of every color to start with. You can make a bigger basket like this by laying, laying out those four strips you're going to want one color just laid out all next to each other, almost like you're putting that paper back together. Then you're going to start with a strip of the different color. You're going to want to put your hand on it to hold it still. And then you're going to do a weaving pattern of under, over, under, over. And then hold on to that strip and do the opposite with another strip. So if you went under the first time, you're going to go over this time under and then over and then put those close together. If you want to make that bigger basket you're going to want to do about four strips of each color here to make the base of your basket or the bottom of it. And you're going to want to make sure that there's an even amount of paper on either side for the sides of your basket. And then the bottom would look about like this. You've got a nice checkerboard pattern there. Then you're going to want to go ahead and fold up the sides. Sometimes putting some glue under the bottom of these, if you want to put some glue on the edges, will help to keep it more stable and keep things from sliding around as you're making them, which is very helpful. So I would put a little bit of glue under each corner to just make sure everything stays still the way I want it to. Then you're gonna to wanna to fold up all the way around so that all of the sides are about the same height. Once you have that done, 
you can take another strip of paper and begin weaving the sides of the basket. I find it helpful to fold my strip of paper that I'm gonna put around the sides to help me find the corners. So you're gonna take some of these other strips of paper and I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna start on the corner and I'm gonna do another over under over under pattern for my sides. On this bigger basket, you're gonna find that one strip of paper only goes about halfway around, so you're gonna need a few extra strips of paper. But you can go ahead and glue some of those strips right there so that it will stay and do that all the way around. On the next layer, you're gonna to wanna to do the opposite. So you're gonna go over, under, over, under again, all the way around. And you can go ahead and glue that as well. Now, if you want to, you can also make a smaller basket by just taking a couple of these strips and weaving a pattern that only has about four. So you're gonna do two each way and start with just a basket that just has the bottom four there. And then you can still go ahead and do the same thing where you're gonna fold up the sides and then weave your way around until you have something that's kind of like this. Now on both sides of baskets, once you get to the top, you're gonna to have a little bit of extra paper and then you're gonna just fold it over and glue it to make a nice edge on the top of your basket. When you're all done, you can take another strip of paper and you can make a little handle and then it's ready to fill and leave for your neighbors. Another type of basket that's fun and easy to do if you want something that's a little sturdier than paper um, is one that starts with a paper plate but then you can add yarn to it if you have extra yarn around. And all you have to do for this one is you just take a paper plate and you cut spokes like this and fold them up and then begin an over under pattern with your yarn all the way around until it makes a really fun uh, pattern on the sides. And you can finish off the top by folding over the edges and maybe gluing some beautiful ribbon around it and then adding a, a handle for that. So that would be a really fun basket to do as well. You can get really creative. There's so many things that you can weave with. You can use strips of newspaper, which are really easy and um, to make and don't even need much measuring or even any cutting if you want to make even strips of newspaper and you can weave those. You can even weave plastic bags that you have lying around. So this is a great way to just reuse some of those materials that might be lying around your house that would otherwise get thrown away. The most important thing though is what you decide to put inside your basket. So don't forget to gather beautiful bright spring flowers or if you don't have any flowers blooming you could make um, flowers out of tissue paper or other beautiful things that you find around the house um, and go ahead and make some special treats and give those messages of hope and write some fun poems for people that you love and that you want to surprise with a wonderful May Day basket. I sure hope that you have fun with some of these crafts and I can't wait to see some pictures of things that you and your family are doing to celebrate this wonderful holiday. Thanks so much Mountain Sage.